Hello, welcome to BMT 230 and BMT 230L, uh, Biomedical Wireless Networking. Uh, my name is Gary Millett. I'll be an instructor for both of these courses uh, during this spring 2021 term. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the course. Uh, the lecture portion of the course is online uh, due to COVID and the laboratory is a uh, on-campus uh, lab face-to-face -face with reduced enrollment uh, due to COVID protocols. So what we like to do talk about in this class is how do we transmit data? Now, for many years, uh, radio has been around for, you know, over about a century now, it turns out that uh, all we cared about was transmitting entertainment. And you know, might say that was news, music, uh, you know, radio programs and so forth. And at one time we used to talk about the golden age of radio. Well, with the advent of the internet and uh, also hastened by cellular telephones, uh, it turns out that today we'd like to be able to get onto the internet to access uh, data and so forth uh, anywhere, any place, any time of the day. Um, cell phones changed our society. Uh, they've been around for about 30 years, and it turns out that, uh, um, you know, before we had cell phones, we had a phone in our home that was wired. We used to call that a landline. Uh, now everyone has their smartphone, and we kind of live and die with those things. Uh, they kind of rule our lives at this point in time, uh, more ways than one. Uh, so we've gotten used to the idea that we can access the internet from anywhere using our smartphones, and we also have what's known as Wi-Fi, most of our houses. And uh, with the 20 years of the internet, it has matured as to what we can do with it. And what happens now is we have a lot of applications, especially in the biomedical world, uh, the medical world, where what we might want to do in either a clinical setting or in a home is to monitor a patient or a person uh, for their vital signs. And uh, you know, hopefully pretty soon we'll be gone, will be the days when you were in the hospital and you were attached to a bunch of wires and you had to uh, go to the men's room or the woman's room and uh, you had to get up and uh, uh, take an, a hold of the whole pole that had all the equipment on it and shuffle it into the uh, just bathroom with yourself and uh, then you know, uh, shuffle it back out and get back in bed. Um, you know, uh, wireless untethers us from such contraptions. And it turns out that, uh, you know, uh, how this is done and how we can do it securely is of concern in certainly the biomedical world. Now, um, what we like to do is we start off in the course talking about uh, what the wireless standards are. It turns out all wireless has to conform to standards and the FCC would deal with most of the, what we had in the past, but today with biomedical wireless standards, uh, it turns out that we deal with uh, the FDA. And uh, once we take a look at standards, then we'll take a look at what basically a wireless system consists of. That is, what are the components, a receiver, transmitter, uh, the channel that the, the information's broadcast through, antennas, transmission lines, and so forth. Um, to do all this, we have to get some basic understanding of things like dBs, filters, and frequency response, and talk a little bit about uh, wireless test equipment. Once we've done all that, we'll move on to discussing how we transmit information wirelessly. And we do that through what's known as modulation. And we'll first take a look at the you know, classic forms of modulation, which are analog forms of modulation, AM, FM, and phase modulation. And then we'll go into digital modulation. And digital modulation, again, is all a rave today because it turns out it's a better way to send signals and it's how we send data the most efficiently and effectively, and certainly the fastest way we can transmit data. Now, once we've gone through that, we'll take a look at wireless receivers. Uh, then we'll deal with multiplexing and access schemes. Uh, once we're all done with that, we'll delve into the various wireless systems that are available to us today. Uh, the first one will be the IEEE 802.11 standard, which uh, most of us know as Wi-Fi and all the variations there of. Then we'll take a look at IEEE 802.15, which again is commonly termed as Bluetooth. Uh, however, Bluetooth is not 
really under the IEEE anymore. And we'll take a look at all the Bluetooth variations that are now existing under the uh, Bluetooth Special Interest Group. Um, after we get through the IEEE technologies and these Bluetooth variations, we can then take a look at cellular. And uh, cellular started as first generation, second generation, third generation was the introduction to uh, basically data transmission. Uh, we've been living with fourth generation for the last 10 years. And now we're in the cusp of starting with 5G. And of course, if you watch TV, you're inundated with commercials about 5G technology uh, anytime you watch television. Um, after we've done all these topics, we have three more topics to deal with, electromagnetic propagation, transmission lines, and antennas. Now, the course is laid out in modules, and it turns out that each week you'll be asked to take a look at various media. Uh, those would be things like videos, we'll say, or maybe PowerPoint presentations. And usually there's an assignment each week. Uh, I believe in this course there are 12 assignments and then three quizzes at the very end of the course. And it turns out that, again, what you want to do is go onto the Blackboard, uh, access uh, BMT 230, and start working. Uh, there are uh, ways to submit your homework electronically. Uh, there are due dates and so forth. Um, you know, hopefully you'll adhere to those. And each week uh, it's laid out as to what you have to do. So without any further ado, we'll start the course. Thank you.